What is going on guys? So for a long time now since I was probably even below like a thousand subs a lot of people have been asking me to do the One Piece crew tag thing that was going on for a while and it hasn't really happened for a long time like I haven't seen any of the big YouTubers doing it but you know a lot of people have been asking for it and I think it would be pretty fun. I have developed quite an interesting crew here. I, 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 I've enjoyed doing this. So if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, about a year-ish ago, someone on the One Piece wiki made this One Piece crew tag thing where pretty much you are the captain of a ship in the One Piece world and your goal is to become Pirate King and you need to pick 12 members of the One Piece world, either canon or not canon, to be a part of your crew. Six of them are fighters and six of them are supports. You also get a devil fruit that you can either come up with or was already in the One Piece world. And you are supposed to have some kind of role for your ship. I don't really know why that's necessary, but I have one, so it's cool. The only restriction that has been made here is that you cannot pick a current or former Yonko. So Kaido, Big Mom, Blackbeard, Shanks, and Whitebeard are off limits. I guess that also includes Luffy now, kind of. But I, I wouldn't really think he even could be a part of this anyway, just because... Come on, really, is it is it possible to imagine that Luffy would not be a captain? So first of all, my devil fruit would be Dofi's string fruit, all right? I know that that might seem kind of lame to some people, but it shouldn't really be that unexpected. I mean, everyone knows that Dofi is my favorite character. I seriously think, I, I've mentioned this a few times, I even probably said it in my top Paramecia's video, I think that this could very well be the most powerful devil fruit in all of One Piece. Not just is it a devil fruit that I would want just because it's super cool, you know, the ability to control people and whatnot, just use small strings to do massive amounts of damage. I mean, it's actually a highly practical fruit. I'm able to regenerate myself. I could use the birdcage in a lot of different situations. It just has so many insane abilities. I mean, you could pretty much fly, just like free fly. I know technically you gotta go like full attack on Titan on the clouds and whatnot and attach your strings, but let's be real here. I mean, a lot of the time it didn't even make sense how Dofi would be like floating. Like, he would be higher than any building or any structure or something, but how could he be standing on a string then? I don't know. It didn't make any sense. He could pretty much fly. So yeah, no questions asked. I had absolutely no hesitation in saying that I would for sure take the string fruit. And as for the role I'm supposed to play in the crew besides just being the captain, uh, I, I, maybe people are going to kind of think this is a cop out, but I think it's fine. I would be like the shot caller of the crew, you know, like I lead the battles and whatnot. That might be expected of the captain, I guess, but I don't know. I mean, a lot of the time, like Jinbei could be calling shots depending on the situation, like, you know, the Straw Hat crew, so... I think it's reasonable, I just want to be like the main shot caller in battle. And then as for the members of my crew, so let's just get right into this. I'm gonna start with the fighters because for one thing the fighters are so much more exciting, but also almost all of my supports are actually Straw Hat members, it kind of just worked out the way. I mean if you think about it, the Straw Hat members are like the ideal supports really. A lot of them are very powerful in combat as well, but they have amazing support abilities. And then Two of them also are not Straw Hats, but they are pretty good potential Straw Hats. A lot of people make theories that either of these two could be. So I'm going to start with the fighters. But so the first fighter I have is the Dark King Rayleigh. I absolutely have to have this guy on my crew. He is one of my favorite characters and he is super powerful. I mean, seriously, this guy was able to hold off Kizuru and I have talked about it a lot of times. I think that if they were to have a battle to the death, it would probably be in Rayleigh's favor. And even if we assume that I'm supposed to be the most powerful character on this crew, I would still say that, I mean, this guy is an old man. He is the right hand man of the former Pirate King. He's seen a lot of shit, right? I guarantee he has so much experience, things he could teach me even if I am stronger than him. And he could probably even give me some lessons in hockey, some kind of you know, weird tips that maybe I already have strong hockey, but maybe there's some things that I just don't know. Pretty much, Rayleigh would be the wise old man of the crew who is also a ass-kicking machine. And then my next crew member would be Jinbei. I think that I absolutely have to have him because for one thing, he is a very powerful fighter. He's probably going to end up being around Sanji's like end game level, which is going to be insane. So that, you know, there's no question he'd be a strong fighter, but he also does have some pretty good support-ish abilities, I guess you say. He's not a support, but he does have some support-ish ability with his ability to like, I don't know, 
control water pretty much. I mean, not just controlling water, but using that to steer a ship properly. He's pretty much like the greatest at steering a ship we've seen in the series so far. He's probably going to be the best ever. So that is pretty crucial here. I mean, his actions speak for himself, really. Like, we all saw in the great Big Mom Escape how he just completely made it look easy getting through that tidal wave. So I, I think I don't really need to explain why Jinbei would be so valuable to this ship. We need someone who's going to steer it very well like he could. Without that, I mean... I mean, we've seen the new world, right? Like, some crazy-ass shit happens. It's not gonna be just enough to have a navigator. We're gonna need someone to steer that bitch, too. My third fighter of the crew would be Aokiji. I think that he would be extremely useful, not just because he is, I mean, complete monster, right? I think that it's very possible that he could have actually ended up being the victor of the Punk Hazard fight. I think it is possible that he did defeat Akainu. Got a whole different theory on that, not getting into that in this video, but that, you know, shows how powerful I think he really is. And not just is his cold fruit overwhelmingly powerful in a combat situation, but it has some great utility as well. I mean, just think in Marine Ford, he was able to stop those tidal waves, which would have done some serious damage to Marine Ford. He was also able to completely freeze the surrounding area of water so that they could have an entire battlefield to fight on. I think it's very likely that when we first set sail, Aokiji is probably going to be the strongest member of my crew, so he is an absolute must on this list. My fourth member is another one of my favorite characters. I have Zoro. He, like I was just saying, I think Aokiji, when we first set sail, is going to be probably, probably, you know, the strongest character. I mean, Rayleigh is the only one that could really contest him. But I think that by end of series, by the time I did become the Pirate King, Zoro would probably be the second strongest on the crew besides myself. I mean, his goal is to become the strongest swordsman. And I mean, I'm thinking Mihawk at this point is at least like top five characters and not like judge top five like legitimately top five characters plus if i ever get lazy like i do from time to time zoro will probably just try killing me right there he'll probably try killing me motivate me to step it up remind me that we are in the new world just like he did for luffy and punk hazard maybe if i'm being a little soft in some situation where a crew member is getting a little rowdy or something then he'll tell me to stop being an idiot and man up just like he did for luffy in Water 7. So I think that Zoro would be crucial here. He is one of my favorite characters. I would enjoy drinking with him nonstop. It would be fantastic. I would love it. My fifth member would be Marco the Phoenix. I would probably have taken him regardless, but now that we know that he is a doctor and has some crazy ass healing abilities, he would also be my ship's doctor. I'm thinking if I didn't have him, I would have put Law in here or something and replaced my sixth member. But since Marco is now also a doctor, that is going to be his role on this ship. Like I made a whole video explaining, I do think that Marco is in fact admiral level. I think he is probably the strongest of all the Yonko commanders with the only possible exception being Ben Beckman and I still don't know who would be between them. So he, he's he got to be on this crew, especially with his healing abilities now. He's so powerful. His Devil Fruit's absolutely insane. He can also fly, so he could do some reconnaissance for me. I think that we would get along very well. We both have a pretty chill demeanor, kind of just want to have fun being pirates, probably getting drunk and whatnot. So I'm definitely putting Marco on this crew. And the final member of the fighters, the sixth member of my crew, just barely making onto this list would be Katakuri. I, I mean, if you've seen my videos during the Katakuri and fight and whatnot, just since he's been introduced, I absolutely adore the guy. His combat power speaks for itself. I don't need to explain to you the power of a top Yonko commander. And I just absolutely love his badassery. I mean, the guy is a complete animal. His siblings always thought that he was just like totally cool guy. They didn't even realize that he had some seriously weird things going on. Him upholding his sense of honor in his battle against Luffy, him stabbing himself, taking off his scarf, and in the end conceding to Luffy so he could escape, so he could eventually defeat Mom and become the Pirate King, turned me on in a way that no woman ever could. He is my second favorite villain in the series, probably in my top 10 overall favorite characters. The only reason my number one favorite villain, Dofi, is not on this crew is because I don't want it to be a complete cheese fest with us both having the string fruit. And if I had to pick between having Dofi and having the string fruit, I'm just going to take the string fruit myself because it is just so awesome. And then on to the support characters. Like I said, you guys might be disappointed because the reasoning for this is so straightforward and 
they're kind of in one way or another all Straw Hats. They've at least all been like allies of the Straw Hats. So getting right into it, my first choice of character, the seventh member of this crew, would be Brooke. I absolutely need a musician for this place. I mean, come on, I've been playing Sea of Thieves lately, and when we're on our way from destination to destination, we gotta be playing music the whole time. If you're on a pirate ship, you have to have a musician, or what are you even doing? And if I'm picking a musician, you're goddamn right it's gonna be Brooke. Who the hell else am I gonna pick? I mean, the guy can play pretty much every instrument known to man. He's a complete god in every way. He's decent at combat. I mean, I don't know if the supports are actually allowed to fight, but he's at least decent, so that'd be useful. Uh, why would I not pick Brooke? He's just awesome. Not to mention the random, sometimes maybe even slightly plot-breaking uses of his devil fruit could come in handy a lot of the time. I mean, it seems like anytime there's really nothing that could make sense, like they're just completely screwed, he does something with his devil fruit that doesn't really make any sense because we thought its only ability was to revive him, and it, he saves everyone, so I'm sure that would come in handy a lot for me. And my eighth member, another one of the Straw Hats, would be Nami. I'm absolutely gonna need Nami, especially since we're going to be mainly in the new world. We can't get around that well without her. She's probably the greatest navigator of all time, so why would we not want her? Sure, she might whine and complain about some of the islands I would like to go to, but I mean, we got 11 other badasses here that are gonna be like, no, we're going, all right, this is gonna be fun. So, no, I'm definitely gonna take Nami. I think I absolutely need her if I'm going to have a proper navigator. And yeah, I think it's pretty straightforward. My ninth member is Frankie because I'm just going to be real with you. I want all the shit that he can make. I want to have this badass ship that is barely even a ship. It's pretty much just a floating piece of advanced technology. The shit that he can make is insane. I mean, he spent so much time on Vegapunk's island that he's pretty much turning into Vegapunk himself. I mean, guys, along the same lines that I said earlier, if we don't have someone on this ship shooting lasers, then can we even really call this a true pirate ship? Also, in one of my favorite Disney movies, Treasure Planet, there was a cyborg on that ship. So, yep, gotta do it. Gotta have a cyborg. And for my 10th member, and this might be kind of breaking the rules because he is an extremely powerful fighter, but you know what? I'll tell him that he's not allowed to fight. I will tell this man that he's only allowed to stay in the kitchen because I'm picking Sanji, all right? All I want this guy to do is spend time in the kitchen. I want to eat his food, all right? I don't care about helping this crew be getting to Pirate King level. I just want to eat this guy's food. I'm willing to waste a member on that shit. Not to mention, he really should be able to like buff everyone on the crew since he was supposed to have learned some kind of cooking techniques that like give people buffs or debuffs or whatever. Don't know why that hasn't really been touched on since the time skip, but I'm gonna tell him it's time to start working on that because that could be huge and actually a super big support ability. So yeah, but on the real though, for pretty much entirely gluttonous reasons, I will be taking Sanji here. And then for the fifth support, my 11th member of the crew, I will be taking Carrot for a lot of reasons. For one thing, I absolutely love Carrot. I don't know why a lot of people are just, you know, either hit or miss, you either love her or hate her. I'm not sure what that's all about, but I guess I'm on the loving side. I think she's super cool. She's really cute, funny. So I like her for that reason, but I also think she'd be very useful to support. Not just can she jump super high and, you know, just kind of scout out the area, but having a mink on the ship could be extremely useful because of the weird abilities that they have, such as electricity and being undetectable by observation hockey. Not sure to what extent that exists exactly, but it seems like it's pretty much like absolute and it's not very hard for them to do. I think that this could be extremely useful for like scouting or going on some kind of infiltration mission. So I think that I absolutely have to have a decently powerful mink. I don't really think she's going to be like on the front lines. I don't consider her a fighter at all. I think she would just be really good for like these kind of covert missions. And my final member of the crew, the 12th member, I am picking, and this might surprise some people, Momonosuke. I don't really like him so much as a character, but I am very much liking the support potential he has. Not just is he a very good connection to Wano, I think that I could get a lot out of that since you know Wano isn't very good with diplomacy, I think he could help me there. But most importantly, at least as far as we've seen, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna stay the same here, Momo is the only character on this crew that I've built that can use the voice of all things. He might be a little kid right now and not really know how to use it, but he'll definitely learn and that will be more than useful. I mean, he could potentially command sea kings or something. He can read boneglyphs without being able to actually see them or just read the language, I guess. Again, I don't really like Momo that much, but the Wano thing is kind of cool, and my only options for getting someone with the voice of all things were either him or Luffy, and not just do I think Luffy's not an option anymore because he's an emperor, but 
I really just don't think it makes sense to have Luffy on a crew at all. So I, I'm going to take Momo. I want the voice of all things that bad. So there you go, guys. That is my crew tag, whatever. I It, it was really fun. I, I was thinking about it. I'm like, oh my God, this crew would be so crazy. I think that it should have been limited to maybe like eight members or at least like... I don't know, less fighters, like maybe only four fighters, because six of these people, you could pick like anyone but Emperor's, oh my god, I mean really, like, honestly, with this crew that I've developed, and you probably could have even got more OP people, how could you even fail? Like, just take all admirals, it'd be so easy, I don't know, I thought it, there should have been a few more restrictions on it, but it was very fun to do. And I know that it is kind of like out of date, this whole thing came out like over a year ago. But I, I, I can't really do like the One Piece crew tag without tagging at least a few people. So I, I guess since I don't believe he's done it, I did check and I cannot find a video. I am going to tag Nux Taku and I will also tag Ganon. I will put a link to both of their channels in my description. Make sure you check them out if you have not already. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Remember to leave me a comment letting me know what you thought about this video. I'd also like to see your guys' 12 members, your six fighters and your six supports. I'd like to see the kind of crews you would develop. I saw some other people commenting like on the wiki in response to the actual tag thing that was made up. And I was seeing some weird ass crews. Like especially the fighters, they were picking like Wapole and shit. I'm like, what in the hell is even going on? Wapole! Like that is something that actually happened. I, mean, I don't know. I'd like to see what you guys have to say. I hope you guys have an excellent rest of your day. Day, a good end to your weekend, and I will talk to you on Wednesday.